Well, there, our next guest may just feature. He is a special friend of the show. He only lives just around the corner, so we should probably get him in more often. <laughs> he is Kevin Mitchell. Kevin, welcome to the show. Straight right. here from the hospital. Yep, I've been at um, Guy's Hospital, not Field House, to see how my has been going. Well, really, my hand's perfect. I've been punched with it, but I need a, a letter from there to, to give to the Boxing Board of Control saying that my hand's all right and that I can fight. Yeah, let's put it into context. Ten months since you fought, uh, yep. Atlantic City last time out, wasn't yep. it? And the hand's really been giving you stick. What was the problem and what have they done to fix it? Well, my snap tendon in my left hand, it was actually happening on my fourth pro fight. And I've had injections in it to numb the pain and now the injections are just not work, was, was, wasn't working before the last fight in America. I've had, a, I've had, the, I've had the tendon sewn back in the hand and I'm... Back in punching away. So you're just delaying it and delaying it. Yeah. Kev, what's, what's coming up, mate? Because you tell, give me some good news for this summer, big boy. Eight man warm up, 22nd of May at your call. Yep. And then world title fight in July at the O2. Oh, really? Who yeah. against, can you say? Martinez, we're looking at. The guy that beat Nicky? The guy that beat Nicky, yeah, Roman Martinez, yeah. Whoa, so that's, nailed so that's all, is that, is that the same night as Khan? I think it's not going to be, I think it's going to be in July, so it's <sighs> a month after Khan, I think. So I think Khan's going to have a big show in, <sighs> with Khan's like, right, with his obviously WBA world title, and then one for the WBA world title. Oh, so back-to-back fight. Back fight. So, so, that, so that's the confusion with Khan being at the O2. It's going to be you at the O2, O2 and yeah. Khan might be at the O2, he might be elsewhere. Yeah. So Martinez, did you see, were you ringside for Nicky's? I wasn't, lost? I was at home, I was, I was watching that home. I thought, I, I watched Martinez, at, for, as soon as I found out Nicky was boxing him, yeah. and... My sister's fellow, obviously, he's a big fan of boxing. He watches all shows all around the world, and he, he mentioned him a couple of times. So I've kept my eye on him for a while. I think he's a good fighter, he's, a good, he's yeah. a good world champion, but I think I've definitely got his number. And so, and, and the eight and, and the warm up, an eight round day. You, in your head, what sort of fight were you? Do you need eight rounds, or do you just seem to get in there and hit someone on the chin? What um, do you think? I'd like. I'm not too fussed really. I'd get in there. It. If there's someone there that's strong enough to take my eight rounds, I don't think they'll, they'll be going there because I've been looking sure. really red hot and training and sparring. Last few spars I had out in Terry from Nicky, we put my trainer Paul said it's the best you've ever looked and hardly getting it and hardly hardly getting touch on I me. Mean, so I was moving right, I'm getting sharper and stronger. So well, you fancy it then, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well, we need Megalink, some British yeah, champions. Yeah, of course, yeah, four by July. It's then, a nice, it's a nice little run during. The, hey, listen, you know that, 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 that's a that. hard. Hey, let me get it right. You know, I think Khan could tell Nick's a hard fight. I've got to be honest with you. I think Kevin uh, uh, and uh, and Martinez is a hard fight. These aren't these aren't walkover well tired fights. Yeah. Those days are gone. Yeah, of course, yeah. But, you know, I mean, some people might say those days didn't exist. I would argue they did at one point. But you know, trust me, that's that's a hard fight. Will you be ready after one flight back Yeah, here? definitely. I've been sparring. As I said, I'm flying. I'm flying, Steve, in the gym in the middle. I'm banging hard and stronger. I'm hitting harder and stronger than ever. Sure. I think most of the people think it's going to be an hard fight this year. I think I'll make easy work of it. Good. Well, fancy, I mean, yeah. I fancy the weight, whole weight division this year. I fancy yeah. clearing up there. I mean, I mean, you did a good job on your hands last year, apart from that brief period when yeah. you lost your mind a little Two bit. Two rounds yeah. out of them, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, but apart from that, it was a good job. It was a sensible job. Yeah. Are we going to see that, Kevin? That, you know, the sense yeah, the, the sensible. guy that's not looking to knock no, someone I'm not straight doing it. out. I'm not doing it. I'm not going out to have World War III and get boxer of the year and things. I'm not fighter of the year. Get I'm that. looking on having a nice boxing match in there, using my brain, moving around and having a long career. Talking about your Johansson fight, winning world title would be great. I think you've got to be in with a great shot of winning the Abunzi Award this year for Fight of the Year because that won Fight of the Year at the Boxing Awards last year, didn't it? Yeah. You yeah. and Johansson has got to be a great shout for the Abunzi Award for the uh, for, for Fight of the Year. I would, I would yeah, suggest. Uh, oh, listen, it should be in there, and, if, and I'm, as I'm in charge of selecting, I mean, I'm not going to give too much away <laughs> by saying it is even a good shout. See, Andy, you're making me look like I'm corrupt. Twist his arm, yeah, twist yeah, his arm. Twist my, but it, listen, it was a great, it was a great fight. But you, you, you mentioned it there, Kevin. It's a great fight for all the wrong reasons. You don't. You, yeah. You know, that's a lovely award, getting, you know, boxing right yeah, the that's, that's the award, but who wants those awards? That's you the want... thing, I don't want, I don't want to be in slug face anymore. It was a good fight. Early on, I made the fight easy. I gave him a boxing lesson. Did. And for two rounds, I got involved, as I'm having to hear. But as I say, Carl Johnson was a good fight. Yeah, you that's know? the thing, we're forgetting that. It's a good it fight. It was nobody's idiot, and it, what he'd done to the British, British rankings, he's demo demolished them. Yeah, 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 not wrong. At, it... at a good level as well, knocked everyone out. And I'm still, as you can see there, in the seventh round, and I'm, after a bad sixth round, I'm piling the shots on. Now, you, listen, it was, a, it was a good comeback because you got caught. Without that injury, without, so without opting for the operation, do you think it could have been you in the ring with Martinez? Do you think you would yeah, have got definitely, yeah, the definitely. half a shot? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. I think that would have been the way it would have been. But, you know, life will take you the way it will take it. That's what I've learned in my life. And I'm here now, getting ready for a world title fight at the age of 24. And I do really honestly think I can clear up the weight division within the next couple of years. Right, so it's Roman Mart Martinez. Clears first, yep. July at the O2, which is one of the, which is the greatest, I think it's the greatest venue in the world. Yeah, so that's why I, I want to start defending the belt, sir. Yeah, I think it's so better than, absolutely, become the O2 fighter. Fight, yeah, like Ricky was out and was, was in Manchester. Yeah, in 
in the end, and I want to be out there too doing the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. Kev, do us a favour, stay with us for a couple of minutes because you might yeah. like what we're going to do next. We've got uh, eight copies. Of Indeed. Simple as that. Kev, before we go, uh, Craig just sent us in an email, said he's desperate to tell you, said he's a big fan, but he says that the whole of Scotland would love to see you fight Ricky Burns. Do you think that'll ever happen? It could do, yeah. For the, I was, you've got Ricky Burns, you've got Stephen Foster there at the minute. Two brilliant fights who could be fighting me for my British soul. But for me, if there's a world title fight there, I'd rather go for the world title fight. There's no point in me fighting Ricky Burns or Stephen Foster the, from British uh, for the... As I say, Ricky, Ricky Burns has got yeah. the ex-Commonwealth. Burns and Foster bash each other up in a fantastic fight. The winner of that could fight him sure if Kevin well. beats Martinez in the defence. That's a fantastic defence in Manchester, a fantastic defence in Glasgow, depending on whoever wins that fight, and it's a pick em fight. Yeah. Burns looked good, I thought, oh, against Gomez yeah. the other Burns, week. Burns is a very good fight, and I think yeah. Stephen Foster is a very good fight. Fantastic but kids. I think, I wasn't that WBA world title. The winner, of, the winner of Burns and, F and Foster will get a shot at the world title, so that ma makes perfect sense. There we go. That's the way the a business match, works, Andy. Match made right here. Kev, let me finish by just thanking you. As always, a pleasure. Thank Wish you, you the best of luck in July. Thank you.